we don't think that great tasting coffee should be limited to a cafe. To enjoy third wave specialty coffee at home, all you need is to follow the four keys formula. But let's talk more about that later. Introducing the Barista Pro, where precision meets speed. Time to unbox. But first, let's set the mood. Hmm. Not bad. Ah, that's better. Lay the box on its side and use the flap to slide the machine out. You'll find a box of accessories that all have a part to play. You'll also find a useful tray that can be used to store accessories, such as filter baskets, burr brush, or cleaning tools. Right, now let's wash all the parts and accessories and dry thoroughly before use. Soak the filter in water for five minutes. Pop it into the filter holder, fit the holder snugly into the bottom of the tank, and fill with cold water. Fit the bean hopper to the top of the machine like this, locking it into place. Place the water tank into the machine. Now, let's power it up. The machine will beep and go into first cycle. Press the illuminated one cup button. When complete, the machine will then go into ready mode. Now the machine is set up, you're ready to make your first coffee. Even the best espresso machine won't make amazing coffee without the right beans. So let's talk to an expert to get the inside scoop. Paul Geshas of Mecca is a professional coffee roaster. So let's ask him what to look for to enjoy third wave specialty coffee. Well, it starts with freshness, but you don't want too fresh. Coffee beans are at their peak flavor from about five to 30 days out of roast. Immediately after being roasted, coffee releases CO2, so using it before that five-day mark makes it a bit more challenging to work with. Once the beans are older than about 30 days, volatile aromatics start to fade, so the coffee loses the best parts of its character. Always look for a roasted on date. This is your key to freshness. Once you open that bag of coffee, beans start to age, their flavor is affected by oxidization, similar to when you open up a bottle of wine. That's why it's so important to buy freshly roasted beans, preferably from a roaster like me or your favorite cafe. There it is, straight from a pro. Only buy beans with a roasted on date, so you know exactly how fresh they are. If there is a use by or best before date, you won't be able to tell if they're fresh or not. Now. Let's make that latte, shall we? Grab the portafilter. Now, this is key to enjoying third wave specialty coffee, and it's similar to what's used in a cafe. Place it into the grind cradle like this, and nudge it forward to start grinding. Now you've got your ground coffee. All you need to do is tamp and trim, just like a pro. Collapse the grinds into the portafilter before using the tamper and applying firm pressure with a slight twist to finish. Then, use the razor to trim for the perfect dose. Now, it's time to brew. Insert and lock the portafilter into the group head. You have the option here of a single or double shot espresso or manual control. Let's go with a double shot. Let's take a closer look. Look at that. Flowing like thick, warm honey. That's what you're looking for. Here's where the four keys formula comes in. Key number one, a full-bodied coffee with rich and complex flavors is created using the ideal dose of 18 to 22 grams of freshly ground beans that the Barista Pro delivers. You can change the setting at any point to suit your particular needs. Key number two, is a perfectly balanced espresso with sweet, delicious, and nuanced flavor notes that comes from brew water temperature delivered at precisely 93 degrees Celsius. Just like a commercial machine. The Barista Pro uses digital PID technology to achieve this. Key number three 
is about the right pressure during the extraction. This is one of those times when bigger is definitely not better. We start with low pressure pre-infusion, followed by a high pressure nine bar extraction process delivered via our 15 bar Italian pump and an over pressure valve. Achieving the perfect espresso extraction is based on a number of factors you need to monitor and adjust regularly. Here's a barista to explain how it's done. Hey there. Let's take a closer look at some extraction results you might come across and what adjustments you need to make to consistently create that balanced espresso shot. Pay attention to the shot clock as each extraction starts. If your espresso is flowing too fast, it's under extracted and you'll need to decrease your grind size, making it finer for the next coffee you make. However, if it's flowing too slowly, it's over extracted. So increase your grind size, making it coarser for your next coffee. Keep an eye on this each time you make a coffee for that perfectly balanced shot, just like this. Brilliant, Leo. So the perfect extraction is all about finding the right grind size. Got it? Good. Now you have the perfect espresso shot. It's time to texture your milk and create silky, velvety microfoam that every milk coffee needs and is essential for latte art. Fill the jug with fresh, cold milk to just below the spout mark. Insert the steam wand into the jug with the tip below the surface of the milk. Turn the steam dial to start texturing. The milk is at the right temperature when the jug becomes too hot to touch. Now, let's talk about the science of microfoam milk. Here's Rob, a senior industrial engineer from Breville. The science of microfoam milk is the fourth and final key of our four keys formula, and it's just as important as the other keys. You need powerful steam pressure at around 130 degrees Celsius. This is essential to create shiny, silky microfoam that has a rich, velvety mouthfeel. Without microfoam, latte art is impossible. High-powered steam transforms the milk into thousands of tiny bubbles. When combined with the espresso, these trap the espresso oils to create a delicious balanced flavour and mouthfeel. And that's how we engineer all our machines, to replicate the performance you get from professional equipment. Thanks, Rob. Now that our microfoam milk is ready, turn the steam dial to the vertical position to finish. Lower the jug and wipe the wand with a damp cloth before manually purging the wand by turning the steam dial to the steam position. Now, it's time to finish off that latte. Hey, Leo, you still there? I sure am. I'll take it from here. Okay, first you want to swirl the microphone in the jug. Start by tilting the cup before pouring the microphone directly into the center of the espresso, not breaking the crema to create a blank canvas. Then move the milk jug close to the surface until the white appears and shake the jug gently from side to side and move back. Then pour back through the art, lifting the jug up to create a finer stroke to finish it off. Just like this. Let's not show mine, shall we? But practice makes perfect. Give me some time. So now you know all about the Barista Pro, the fun really begins. Get creative with different drinks like cappuccinos, long blacks, or even espresso martinis. Before you know it, you'll be mastering the best style of coffee on the planet. So there you have it. Precision meets speed with the Barista Pro.